I hope you're doing well. Today I'll be showing you my shower slash bath routine. I have been feeling crusty with a capital C and so I decided tonight I was gonna do something about it. We're gonna get rid of the excess hair, we're gonna scrub the body, scrub the feet and just make ourselves feel good. I felt like doing something different so I thought I would show you guys what I do when I have a bath. I'm going to be using my favorite products for soft skin and healthy hair. So if you're looking for some body or hair care products, you've clicked on the right video. Before we get started, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and leave a comment down below if you like these kind of videos. Okie dokie, let's get started with the video. To prepare my bath water, I like to use two different products. Firstly, I use this Quo Vanilla Brulee Epsom Salts. I love Epsom Salts in water. It makes the water really soft and my skin feels so hydrated whenever I soak in this. If you haven't tried it before, you have to. It feels so good. some bubble bath because we cannot have a bath without bubble bath. I'm using this Japanese cherry blossom moisturizing bubble bath by Kalgan. I really really like this bubble bath. Honestly you can't go wrong with any bubble bath but this one smells really good and is generally very relaxing so this one I can highly recommend. I love a warm bath but I do my best not to make it super hot. Obviously hot water is just going to dry your skin out so make it warm but not too hot. Then I have to prepare myself something to drink while I'm in the bath. Bathing is a marathon, not a sprint, so it's important to hydrate. Today, I felt like some orange juice. I'm really boring. I don't really drink alcohol very much, so I love a refreshing glass of orange juice with some ice blocks. It's also perfect because when I start getting really hot in the bath, this is mm, delicious. So while the bath fills up, I will prep myself to get in. I had literally just finished doing a walk, so I was super sweaty and gross. First, I always put a headband around to keep my hair out of my face, and then I decided to put some music on to set the mood. I love this little JBL because it's waterproof, so it means I can get it close to the water without feeling nervous that I'm going to damage it. I always choose a different playlist each time I'm soaking, but this time I felt like listening to some chilled Michael Bublé, so I found a playlist on Spotify and hit play. my face with some cold water just to get that excess sweat off and then I went in with my Nivea eye makeup remover along with these Quo luxury cotton pads. I love jumbo cotton pads. It's a thing that I discovered in North America. I've never seen them before. It's just so useful because it means I only need to use one cotton pad instead of two or three. I wasn't wearing much makeup but I just wanted to show you guys this one because it is so gentle on my skin. So if you have sensitive skin like me, this is a great makeup remover. Then I went and got undressed and I untied my hair. I like to brush my hair before I get into the bath or the shower. That way when I apply the product, it just goes on easier and I feel like I get better use out of my product because it'll coat each individual strand. And then it's time for me to get into the bath and relax for a minute or two. So after 
wetting my hair, it was officially time to start washing it. I discovered this Dream Lens L'Oreal shampoo and I am officially in love. If you have dry, wavy hair like mine, you are going to love this. It feels like a hair mask, but without the weight of a hair mask. It's deeply hydrating without the oiliness of a conditioner. Seriously, if I could lather my whole body in this, I would. It is amazing. Whenever I wash my hair, I always rub backwards and forwards rather than in circular motions so that I try not to break my hairs or pull my hairs out. And then for conditioner, you guys know that I love this Garnier Whole Blends one. I'm pretty sure this is a mask and not a conditioner, but because my hair is so dry, I always use a hair mask in place of conditioner. And then I just brush the ends of my hair so that each strand is coated by the hair mask. I like to tie my hair up just so that it's out of the way while I work on the rest of my body. Sometimes I use a hair tie, sometimes I use a ponytail. I just kind of grab whatever's nearest and put my hair out of my face. move on to washing my body. Now TikTok made me do this. I bought this native body wash in eucalyptus and mint. Oh my word, I am in love. I thought that I was never gonna move on from Dove body wash, but this is definitely a contender. My skin just felt so fresh after using this because of the eucalyptus and the mint. So if you're looking for a refreshing body wash, this one is amazing. And whenever I wash my body, I like to use a poof. I know a lot of people love those exfoliating gloves, but I have really sensitive skin so I can't use those things. Maybe once a week would be fine but on the daily I always stick to a poof. I just feel like it's at that right level of exfoliation. I feel like if you're scrubbing your body that much every day it would be a bit too much and you'd land up actually damaging your skin. So I definitely recommend sticking to a poof on the daily. I really love taking my time with this step because it's the part that makes me feel the best, makes me feel the cleanest. So if you want to be a clean girl, don't rush your bath routine. Take your time and enjoy the time with yourself. Then I just rinse my body off and it's officially time to shave my legs. You guys know that I love this Skin Timid Shaving Cream. It's vanilla sugar flavor and it smells so good. I am keen to try a new one though, so if you've got any recommendations, leave it in the comments down below. You need a lot of this product for it to lather up, but I basically use it for the smell more than anything else. I picked up some of these Venus Sensitive Razors. I usually always use men's razors because they usually invest more into the blade, but I have found that the female razors are definitely upping their game. This one has four blades and a kind of soap around the edge so it's really really gentle on the skin and for the first time in a long time I did not cut myself while shaving so I am really really impressed with this one. In the summer I shave my legs around two times a week mainly because I can't stand the feeling of getting into bed and then feeling my hairy legs scratch against each other. I feel like everyone can relate because it feels so good to get into the bed with cleanly shaven legs and they just feel so silky smooth next to each other. Oh there is no better feeling. I swear. And then after I finish shaving my legs, I move on to shaving under my arms. I have an at-home IPL laser machine that I'm starting to use, so I'm really hoping I'm not going to have to shave as often. For under my arms, I like to shave three times down, three times up, and three times across. That's what gives me the closest shave. Sometimes I just do twice upwards, whatever I'm feeling. The next step I don't do every time I shower, maybe once or twice a week, or whenever my skin is feeling extra dry, I will go in with this vanilla brulee creme brulee scrub. Oh my word, it smells and feels amazing. This is my favorite salt scrub I've ever used. You can feel it exfoliating your skin, but without that super harsh feeling. I was never a fan of scrubs before this one, and I can tell you if you try it out, you'll love it. And then I just go ahead and exfoliate my entire body don't forget to exfoliate your feet because that way you avoid getting calluses and you'll have nice feet for summer for my face I usually use CeraVe or Cetaphil on the daily but once a week I like to use the St. Ives soft skin scrub it's an exfoliator that has avocado and honey once again really gentle on the skin this one makes my face feel so soft and smooth because it gets rid of any dead skin or kind of lumps and bumps that are sitting around my face and then I'll just chill 
in the bath for another three to four minutes, relaxing, letting all of those products soak into my skin. For the final step, I don't like to rinse my body and my hair in all of that water that I've been sitting in. I just kind of think it's a bit gross because it's got all of my dead skin and of course some of my hair in there. So what I do is I take the shower head and I will just rinse my face, my body and my hair with that. I always squeeze the excess water out of my hair and then it is time to get out of the bath. The first thing I do after shaving my legs is apply moisturizer. Today I was using my Jergens Gradual Tan Lotion, but it's supposed to give you a gradual natural tan over time. And because it's summer and I am looking very pasty, I decided it's time that I do something about it. Next up, I use this Nivea toner with almond oil. It's just so that I get any little bit of dirt that's still sitting on my face or clogging my pores out of there. I love this Quo serum. It's the right balance between oily and not oily. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I don't like it if my face feels greasy. Also because it feels like it's just gonna rub off my face rather than be absorbed. So I apply a drop on my forehead, one on each of my cheeks, and of course on my neck. Then lately, I've been using this metal gua sha. I finally got one. I'm so excited. And what I like is that it's got kind of like a rough edge to it. So it's really great at massaging my face. And the one side is perfectly designed for underneath the eyes. So it just fits to my face really, really well. Then for moisturizer, I'm using my usual CeraVe moisturizing cream. Except this time I'm adding three drops of my Tanologist face tanning drops. Mine is in the shade medium. This is the second time that I'm doing it. And what I like is that it's gradual. It's not going to look like I've suddenly got a darker face. Then I go ahead Ahead and I let my hair out and I always make sure that I part it neatly in the middle before it starts to dry. I found this L'Oreal Super Curls Mousse because I've got naturally wavy hair and I like to enhance the waves. So I just squeeze a big handful into my hand and this stuff is really fun. It foams up really, really big. And I'll run that through the ends of my hairs, brush it through. And then I will just clip my hair out of my face so that it doesn't annoy me. To end off my night routine, I like to light a scented candle that's sitting right next to my bed. And then tonight, I just got into bed and I chatted with my mom a little bit on FaceTime. And that was my nighttime shower routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. I love you guys and I will see you next time. Bye.